Hello, I'm Christian Fraser. You're watching The Context on BBC News. A new record temperature for the UK set today in Coningsby, Lincolnshire, 40.3 degrees Celsius. It's never gone above 40 degrees before. The record was broken 29 times today in England. In London, a major incident was declared as fires broke out across the southeast. 250 firefighters were called to Wennington, east of the capital, where a grass fire spread to the village. In the United States, more than 100 million people are bracing for extreme temperatures as Joe Biden considers his response to the climate emergency. And Netflix announces its earnings for the second quarter. Are we streaming or are we leaving? Tonight, with the context, Joe Twyman, director of the polling company Delta Poll and former senior advisor to George W. Bush, Ron Christie. Hello, warm welcome to the programme. It is not normal. These are super-sized temperatures that are breaking records all across Europe and in the United States. Today, we got a glimpse of what our climate future will look like. A massive heat wave set to start moving across the United States. Right now, another heat dome settling over the southwest. Meteorologists predict it'll continue east and bring sweltering temperatures with it. Tonight, a newly released report on our environment has painted the picture of a poor and deteriorating country. Our forests, reefs, water and air all at tipping point. The predictions were spot on. This has been the hottest day recorded in the UK. In Coningsby in Lincolnshire, the thermometer hit 40.3 degrees centigrade. In fact, 29 places across England have broken the old record, which was 38.7 degrees. Well, as you just heard there, the new UK record was set in Coningsby, Lincolnshire, 40.3 degrees Celsius, smashing a record that was set only three years ago. A major incident was declared this afternoon in London as multiple fires burned in areas around the capital in some tinder dry conditions. This was the A2 southbound by the M25. You would think it would be pretty simple. He said, I'm going to give you $44 billion, give me your company. But it's never really that simple <laughs> when it comes to Elon Musk. Now, is it? Uh, the big argument for Elon Musk is that he does not believe that the true reflection of around 5% of Twitter, uh, Twitter handles being fake is not really accurate. He believes that the number is really quite a lot more. So he's trying to walk away from that deal. So this, uh, so this court hearing basically said, not only can you not walk away from it right away, but you're going to have a hearing about it in October. A $44 billion court case in October. I think that might be worth streaming. Uh, Samir Hussain, thank you very much indeed. Don't go far. We're going to be right back after this break. Hello, I'm Christian Fraser. You're watching The Context on BBC News. Record-breaking heat across Europe today. In the UK, the temperatures rose above 40 degrees Celsius for the first time ever. A major incident was declared around London. Houses were destroyed in Wennington as a grass fire spread to the village. Kemi Badenoch fails to make the cut in the latest round of the Conservative leadership contest. So which of these remaining candidates will make it through to the vote of the party members? And it's quarter-final time in the women's Euros. England taking on Spain tomorrow. Tonight, with the context, Joe Twyman, director of the polling company Delta Poll and former senior advisor to George W. Bush, Ron Christie. Welcome back. Another day, another faller in the Conservative leadership contest. Kemi Badenoch was eliminated this afternoon, and that might come as some relief to the Foreign Secretary Liz Truss, who has struggled in this race to find momentum. And that's probably because Kemi Badenoch has co-opted a significant portion of the vote Liz Truss is seeking on the right of the party. So here are the current standings. Rishi Sunak has 118 votes. He's up three from yesterday. Uh, Penny Mordaunt has 92. That's an increase of 10. Liz Truss came third 
third with 86, so she was the biggest gainer today. Uh, tomorrow, though, the final ballot to choose which two of the three remaining candidates will win through to the second round and the decisive vote of Conservative Party members. Okay, Dr. Anise Basiri Tabrisi, thank you very much for coming on the programme. Good to have for you. Having me. Thank you. Okay. Now it's time for the panel. Now, Ron Christie, you and I have talked before about whether there is room in America for a third party. Do you think that room is starting to evolve? I would expect nothing less from you, Ron Christie. I would expect nothing less. <laughs> uh, we're almost out of time. Uh, Jay Twyman, Ron Christie, thank you very much indeed for your company this evening. Lovely to get your thoughts. Um, we will be back same time tomorrow. Do join us for that. Good night from us.